Hi everyone, it's Mario Cavallo here and welcome to the Dragon Roars on. In this one it's serious. I thought I was gonna die. Period at the store. And I'm gonna talk about two areas uh, that they went in to diagnose, and that was uh, all the abdominal and chest, including seeing the cardiologist. Okay, so this one's gonna take a little bit long, a few minutes longer. I was 54 years old. I don't know. I, if you recall correctly, uh, I had just quit smoking. Um, the timing, remember, you know, from a few years ago from the other video, I just quit smoking and I was having breathing problems with like uh, 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 adult onset asthma response post post smoking because your lungs nicotine relaxes your whole it's an incredibly powerful drug like heroin uh, and it, it relaxes your whole body, including your lungs, your bronchial tubes, those like muscle muscular tissues and they seize up. Can happen to a lot of people who quit smoking as an as adults. It happened to me. Hey, what are you going to do? So it was kind of scary. At the same time, I wasn't eating right. I didn't understand. Very simple. Now I understand. You got to eat starch first. I was irritating my uh, stomach. It, uh, from the tests I had done, I knew it wasn't my intestines. It was my stomach. But I didn't know that because it was my lower abdomen. And I didn't know that until I got all the tests. So lower abdomen. So your stomach is up here. In case you don't know it. Uh, when you're having chest pains, th this is what was freaking me out. I was having abdominal swelling and chest pains. And the, the swelling was so bad, apparently it was pressing on nerves that were then affecting my leg because my left leg felt weak and a little bit numb and my left arm and a little shooting pain up into the... How does, that, how does any of that sound to you, right? And this was going on and off bad days, good days. I got off the subway one day and I was feeling so bad. I said to myself, I don't even know if I'm going to make it back to my apartment. I had to walk five, six minutes to the apartment. I couldn't believe it. And so I was like, at any moment now, I think I'm going to have a heart attack or a stroke or I'm in the middle of one already, or I already had a mild one. You don't know. But when you do the research, you start finding out any of those things are possible. And the bottom line is, is you get your ass to the hospital. So I present myself at the hospital in Pudong, Renji Hospital, number one level hospital, and told the lady sitting there exactly what I just told you. And the woman, she gets this look on her face, the nurse. She's like, uh, we're more worried about you than you are. Would you take this huge fistful of pills and go lay down and stay and just lay down? Just please, will you go find a bed over there and freaking lay down and, and, and stay. Will you stay overnight in the hospital, 24 hours observation? We're going to hook your heart, hook your, hook you up for observation for your heart and start doing tests to find out what's wrong. We don't know what's going on. If you're lucky, it's the minor uh, gas, gastritis abdominal type problem, but who knows what's going on? I mean, you're a man in your 50s and this is what I'm thinking. And I got a beautiful wife and a beautiful son. Hey folks, Lots of men dropping dead in their 50s and 60s. This is the truth. So I'm freaking scared. They said, you need a full battery of tests. This is diagnostic. So we're back again to x-rays, CT, MRI, and also ultrasounds, and blood work, and uh, endoscopy, where they got to take a look down your esophagus into your upper abdomen, and uh, colonoscopy, where they got to look up and look into your intestines to find whatever the heck is going on. It all makes sense to you, right? This whole ordeal cost me a total of about 1500 US dollars over the course of the next month. Thank you, God. The first things that they did was, let's, let's confirm you're not about to have a sh I mean, this is very sensible, okay? And you know, we need to be intelligent about our healthcare. The very first thing was, let's confirm you're not like about to die. Okay, so that means you're not about, let's see, you're about to have a stroke or you're about to have a heart attack. This was the top priority. You know, uh, you got a clot somewhere, it's going to come loose and you're dead in a minute, right? Anything, aneurysm they call it, all these kind of things. So, MRI for the head. It has a different name actually, but it was the MRI for the head, it's called the MPI or something, I forget, MIP, something. Anyway, comes back, shows all your blood vessels in your head and they're like, you're good. 
So you got no bulging blood vessels, no bulge in any of your blood vessels, any kind of bulge that looks unusual, which means, you see that? You're, you're going to die soon. When that thing bursts, bye-bye, you're not even going to know. Or, or a stroke, right? Nope, nothing. One down, let's go. Carotid arteries. My aunt, back in New York, she had her carotid arteries were getting thick, okay? That, uh... Uh, when you get older, that can happen, and that can mess up the circulation. Plaque in your carotid arteries, they can clean it out. Again, very dangerous, leads to strokes. They check carotid arteries, ultrasound, no problem. Heart, of course, I got referred to the cardiologist as well. Cardiologist was brilliant. The cardiologist, I went back to a week, two weeks later, back again at Huadong Hospital um, in Shanghai. And full cardio workup, which was heart ultrasound and heart CT scan, essentially those two. They came back, oh, and Holter monitor. I did the Holter, mon Holter or Halter monitor, 24 hours, wear the monitor. I have supraventricular, supraventricular preview. I was told that 30 years ago, okay? So my upper chamber beats a little bit early, right? Not dangerous, lots of people have this kind of little bit of arrhythmia, okay? Cardiologist, point blank. I'm into the cardiologist. I got chest pain. I'm going to die. I'm freaking worried. He looked at me and he said, you have absolutely nothing to worry about regarding your heart. Your heart is not going to kill you. End of discussion. I go, what other tests do you want to run? He said, I don't want to run any other tests. I'm done. I'm informing you. So you need to make sure you understand what I just said. Whatever the hell you're feeling when you feel chest pain, you're not about to have, to have a heart attack. And you need to get that through your head. It's something else. I'm like, okay, good. And I did. And he said, if you can't calm down, you're going to need anxiety medication. I said, no, 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 no. I, I, don't, I don't need any medication. I'm fine. I believe what the guy had to say. And he says, like, yeah, go exercise. Go. Your heart's okay. You have a little calcium deposit on your descending LAD artery. He said, I don't like that. He goes, it's not blocked, but you got a little calcium deposit. Folks, CT scan 30 years earlier, the doctor told me about that calcium deposit. So I knew about it and it hasn't changed. Okay, so you see, I understand clearly there's not a big problem, but I know what it is. He did want me to go on the statin drugs for a year. He said that would dissolve that calcium deposit. I didn't, I did, and I did go on the statin for a while. I didn't want to stay on it. Side effects are nasty. You feel tired, your legs feel heavy, and it's not that important. Heart disease does not run in my family. Heart attacks don't run in my family. Bad cancer doesn't run in my family. Okay, so I'm not going to die of those things, most likely. Folks, uh, let me tell you a little bit more about this on the gastritis side. So it was gastritis, and especially from acid, I was not understanding. Uh, in my case, it was lower abdominal, so not my stomach, but you know the lower stomach. They did the endoscopy, and they're like, it's all irritated, including GERD, including your esophagus. is irritated as hell, ulcerative a little bit, and irritated, but that's it. They did biopsy, no cancer. Thank you, God. So all those diagnostics done in a very step-by-step -step professional way. Early on, it was urgent. As soon as we knew I wasn't, I was out of the woods with anything life-threatening, okay, I left. I went back home. And over the course of the next two, three weeks, I got all those other tests done, the, gas, the endoscopy, the colonoscopy, to confirm, well, now that we know it's not anything really bad, what is it? And it was this nasty lower abdominal gastritis, which still comes and goes if I don't eat right. And in the end, I'm a lucky man. These are just chronic health problems. Everybody in their body, everybody, everybody's body has different strengths and weaknesses. These are some of mine. But more importantly, of course, the point of the video, this is the experience I had in the hospital system here, okay, uh, at, and the cost that it was, all right? Uh, to take a look at what these problems were. That's it. All right. Thanks very much for listening. Again, share your questions, your comments, subscribe. Thanks very much.